Hi, this is a demonstration of IoT garbage monitoring system project. So this is an advanced system that can be used by municipal, uh, you know, municipal bodies or uh, the city cleanliness bodies who are, uh, or the government authorities who are responsible for keeping the city clean and emptying the garbage cans. So this system uh, has four sensors here. The sensors are used to detect the garbage in these four bins. Each garbage bin does not need to be of the same size here. So each garbage bin can be of different size. So whenever the system starts, it automatically checks the depth of an empty garbage bin. And after that, when uh, garbage starts filling in that particular bin, it uh, matches the current height of the garbage to the total depth. and uh, Based on that, it estimates how much garbage has been filled in that particular bin and it sends this data remotely to a, a web system. The web system or the IoT system has a web page which displays the status of uh, each garbage bin. This includes uh, how much garbage is filled in that particular bin. As you can see here on this uh, screen here, this is the screen of the web page as it will be available for the users to see or the authorities to see which uh, garbage bin has been uh, filled to what amount. So for this purpose we are using ultrasonic sensors here which are attached to these four bins and the, they are now connected to an uh, AVR family microcontroller which is in turn interfaced to an LCD display for displaying the status of the bins uh, here and uh, also this is a Wi-Fi modem here which is used to transmit data to uh, the web-based application and uh, also we have a buzzer here and the entire system is powered by a 12 volt transformer so now let's see how the system works so now we have turned on the system so for the first uh, monitoring the system has to check the total depth of an empty bin so we will not add any garbage now and uh, let's uh, let it record the original depth of an empty bin so as you can see it's measuring and storing the values so this is the bin 3 value and this is the bin 4 value it's recording now so all four values have been set and currently it's showing that you know the garbage level is zero here so we have indicated on a 1 to 10 scale so depending on the, the status of the garbage filled in that particular bin it rises from uh, 0 to 10 so let's uh, test the system let's add some garbage in one of the bins so as we have filled uh, garbage in bin number 1, it's uh, showing garbage there in the web application in bin number 1. As you can see the garbage can is uh, seen half filled. So now let's similarly uh, insert uh, some garbage in another bin. Now we will wait for it to monitor. So this system basically operates in cycles. So now we will wait for the next cycle or the next scanning. So now as you can see even the bin number 4 has been half filled. So it has detected there and now uh, even in the web application as you can see it's showing the status as a half filled. So maybe let's add some more garbage to that particular bin. So and let's make sure it does not touch the sensor then. So as you can see when we insert more garbage the status has become 7 on a 1 to 10 scale and it has increased there. Even in the web application, 
you can see this change so this will be enough to alert the authorities so as you can see if a particular bin has reached a maximum limit it also displays a buzzer here it sounds a buzzer and glows and another led and even in the web application you can see that uh, it's showing that that particular bin is has been fully filled here and similarly let's do one thing let's uh, that the system again let's uh, you know insert some more garbage one of the one of the other bins just for testing so this is how the project works thank you